ethnic thing, because, huh, the way I sound in my eardrums, this is immaculate, man. This song, there's nothing, nothing special about it yet. Do you know what I mean? Any ideas? Because okay, I... Um, hear me out. Please, Dax, please. We can remove oh. the sleigh bells and put in kalimba. You know, the finger thing. I know what a kalimba does. I know how it's operated, okay? Kalimba. Don't say it again. Go, go in the corner. Go eat your lunch in the corner. But what am I gonna do with my sriracha? Say one more hipster thing, and I'm gonna shove you in your vintage bassoon case, okay? Third. And with just few days of Maya 2019 being released, there has been a lot of talk about this app online. I also made a review which you can check. And I can tell you that if you're a modeling artist and you are planning to move to Maya 2019, you should not move, at least not now, until they fix this box I'm going to talk about. Hi guys and welcome back to Ask NK. So let's talk about the bugs that I have personally found while modeling inside Maya. Maybe you might have found a lot of other ones which I don't know yet, but if you can put them in the comment section, I would be grateful to see them. I'm going to tell you about the very prominent one which is quite disturbing that has made me not to move from Maya 2018 to 2019 when it comes to modeling. So the first one which I'm going to talk to you guys about is the symmetry. It is broken. It is broken. So Let's just simply uh, create a cube here and I hate looking at this grid so I'm just going to take it out and I'm going to press F just to get this here. Okay, so first things first, let's switch this to a symmetry. So you can switch your symmetry from here or you can, you know, switch your symmetry by using the hotbox. So if I switch this to symmetry and I choose the multi cut tool, this is the first bug that bugged me. Okay, so I'm just going to simply hold down um, control. So if you hold down control, you should be able to simply do uh, apply loops to every other part of the stuff. Okay, so I'm just holding down control and I'm clicking and you think it's working, but no, it's not. So we have this error here and it is going to ki it's killing me. It's killing me. I went back to 2018 and it still works perfectly fine. I don't know why this is happening, but I think there should be a good reason why this is happening. So I felt for the first time, I felt, okay, maybe this is only happening because I am using symmetry for the X and I chose to use a world symmetry and here we go again. And I had the same issue. So for some reason, I, I just said, okay, maybe it's because it's the X. So maybe the, the guy doing the stuff chose to skip doing the, the thing for the X or maybe they skipped it. Okay. So I used another axis and I had the same problem. So symmetry. When it comes to using the multi cut tool in Maya 2019, is broken. So it's just one thing you should be aware about. The next thing which I'm going to talk to you is about the append. But before I talk to you about the append, I found something quite interesting that if I have this, which is this um, box here, and I simply make it a live object, and I pick the quad uh, stuff, the the quad draw, which is used for simply doing retopology in Maya. So if I just simply, where's my X now? Okay, good. So if I just simply do something like this, so let's just uh, match this together. I'm just going to click drag drop there and there we go. You see, it works. I don't know why, but for some, for some reason it just works. It works here. When you're doing the quad draw, it works. So my, my question is, are they, did they, I don't know I don't know it's just disturbing that this doesn't work and I have come to become a fan of using this tool a lot but now it doesn't work okay I don't know I don't know I don't know I think someone has to do something about this there should be uh, an update about uh, something like this and even if you even if you choose to do stuff like this it still works you know the symmetry works when you're doing the quad draw so if you're doing your retopology you don't have a problem if Maya is basically if you basically do retopology in Maya, okay, so you don't have a problem with this. But if you're doing any other thing that has to do with using the multi cut tool with symmetry, then definitely you're going to have a problem using Maya 2019 to do your modeling. Okay, so let me just get this out of the way and let's turn this out off. And just for some good measures, I'm going to go back and simply delete history just in case we, we messed something up. Okay, good. So I have this. 
the next thing which I'm going to talk to you about is the append. The append has become something that you probably use or maybe you probably don't use but either ways let me just explain what it does okay uh what i'm going to do is oh it's broken okay so let me just simply turn this off and actually let's delete this and let me create a brand new one so i'm just holding shift and just creating a yeah so we have a brand new one here next thing i would like to do is add a couple of add the subdivisions so let me just simply add about four i think four is fine then i'll switch over and just simply delete these faces okay let's jump back into object mode and try to append this stuff hold shift and try to append because we have symmetry turned on you see if i select the first one and go ahead and select the second one let's come through and do this i only have one appending and you see Normally, by symmetry, the both of them is supposed to append. This is something that works in 2018, but in 2019, for some reason, it just doesn't work. Okay? For some reason, it just doesn't work. And I think this is actually a best time for me to start comparing them both. Since I'm talking about the broken stuff and the stuff that are not broken. You might have also found out that a lot of stuffs are still broken in 2018. And we've always talked about and we've also talked about how we can go ahead and fix those stuff. But I, I don't know if they fixed them because I'm trying out the, the stuff which I felt that they fixed and I can still find out that those bugs are still there, especially with the extrude. So just like we did the previous one, I'm just going to start off a new one now. And for the extrude, we saw an update with extrude last year, which has to do with once you hold down shift and you know, you just uh, drag right in from the middle and maybe you hold down shift with your transforms any of your transform you can actually extrude your object and maybe inside the object how you want okay but the thing that is not fixed something that i also made mention of as at last year is once you press t on your keyboard that is supposed to bring out the menu for the extrude you cannot simply increase the divisions okay so the division gets broken I don't know why this is happening but the division gets broken so i'm just going to go ahead and test with something that is relatively the same with what we have here so i'm just creating a new cube and i'm just going to come through here and uh simply extrude so let's jump over to faces let me pick this i don't know i think yep, that's that's also a bit of an error so I'm just going to extrude this face, but instead of extruding, I want to simply offset it a tiny bit and let's press G one more time just to get it to continue. And I'm going to translate it a little bit. So by using, using the default, you can have all of this, but when to use this shortcut, you can't. And just like I said in the previous video, which I've talked about, uh, I said, I don't know why they would like to release a tool that probably doesn't work. And a tool like this is a tool that has been available for the past two to three years and yet there is no feasible solution for something like this. These are things I would like them to fix in the coming updates because right now I don't think 2019 is a stable program for you to make use of. And since we're talking about the faces and talking about the extrudes and all that, there is also a big bug that I have found with the entire stuff. I think the entire extrude shortcut is totally broken because if I still use the same extrude which we have here, I cannot be able to, let's just have a couple of them here, okay, I cannot be able to simply say uh, I want to separate the faces, I cannot separate the faces. So if I have this and I simply insert a little bit of this. If I press T on the keyboard, I cannot separate the faces. You can see I have an error here. By default, the faces are supposed to be individual. Okay, so I cannot separate the faces. They still stay together. And instead of having this separated, all I get at the end of the day is a broken mesh. So just in case you're working with Maya 2019 and you get to find out that you're having all of these errors, uh, don't think that it's a problem from you. It's definitely a problem from Autodesk. They are the ones that are responsible for something like this. The poly mirror is also broken. 
just in case so let's uh, look at that as well so because I still have my symmetry turned on I think that should be that shouldn't be a problem if I right click and I go over to this part that says mirror okay you see I have a single uh, what's it called I have a, a, a single direction here within the gizmo and by default what you're supposed to have is once you push this to a point you should have it I mean you should still have the mesh visible but the mesh automatically disappears when it gets to an edge I don't know why that is happening and that's why I'm bringing up the 2018 so that we can also take a quick look at it and see if it is broken here as well because I know it is not okay so we have this and if I push this you can see it's still visible all the way to the end I don't know if there are stuff that they chose not to add or maybe if they skipped it during production but for whatever reason that this is happening it is definitely not sexy at all had issues like this i would like you to put them in the comment section if you uh, have suggestions of stuff that i should try out because i'm just trying out these ones that i've found in the modeling section so if you have other things that you want me to try out please just put them in the comment section or you can go over to the community and then you can talk about it and we can have a discussion there and if you like this video please simply give it a like and share it with your friends and if you're not subscribed to this channel or maybe you want to see other things which we've talked about Maya earlier you can also go over to the channel I'm going to put links in the description so you can find and check them out and until I see you guys later peace